association of the lovers of the Divinely Presence and their, their drink is a nectar of Divine Love. And they come to inspire and teach us that Prophet gave an example that there's a piece of flesh within every human being. If that flesh is good, all of you is good. And if that flesh is bad, all of you is bad. And the depth of the words of Sayyidina Muhammad unimaginable, there's no way to even understand it. It's only towards the understanding that is teaching us that this piece of flesh if it's good, all of you good and then Prophet describes that flesh is the heart. If your heart is good, all of you is good. If your heart is bad, all of you is bad. Means then <coughs> the actions that people do its primary reality should be a good heart. For what does Allah what does God Almighty need from your prayers, your zakah, your salah, your fast, your hajj? God is in, not in need of anything. And if the heart is bad all the actions have absolutely no value. If the heart is bad, it contaminates every action. What's the value of somebody praying with a bad heart, an evil heart, a wicked heart, a violent heart, aggressive heart? Has no value. Then they come and teach if you want actions that count or you just want to do actions for your entertainment. If you're entertaining yourself, do all you want. But come first to perfect the heart, clean the heart, the way of taskiyah and purification that they come and teach that God is looking to your heart, Allah is looking to the heart. Put that heart in order to be clean, to be perfected, to be loving, compassionate and merciful. If that heart is good, Allah is pleased with everything. Then when they pray Allah's pleased with them, when they pay Allah pleased with them, when they fast Allah pleased with them, when they make a hijrah Allah is pleased with them. So 99% of all the teaching they say, no, 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 don't focus on this love, I don't know what these shaykhs spoke about, love, love, there is no love, focus on your salah. Uh, if your heart is stinky. What Allah wants with your salah? So they come and teach, no. Make the heart to be good, to be clean, to be purified. Live a life in which to tafakkur and contemplate, muhasaba, make an accounting of oneself that every night just a few minutes, Oh my Lord, what condition is my heart? What is the condition of my heart? Have I hurt anybody with myself, with my person, with my being, with my tongue? Have I done anything wrong that you're not pleased with? Let me make my tawbah, this Ya Rabb. These are the, the cryings of awliya that all night long they're asking Allah that are you angered with me? Are you upset with me? Have I done something wrong? Did I not make a tawbah? And their whole life is always in the direction of Allah who wants to come, come, who doesn't want to come, they don't care. They're not here to please people, they're here to please Allah And their life is, is but a torment that they're thrown into an ocean of pounding from every direction we described. And they're begging Allah let my wood, let my being just land. Let me get out of this ocean of testings and trials and difficulties, means let me just to die Ya Rabbi, I'm ready, I'm, I'm fed up. 
Maut is better for me than to lose my faith, lose my direction, lose my purpose. Means these, these nasheeds and these praisings have an immense reality. These are the sadness of those whom are in deep love with Allah If you don't have that love then at least sit and hear their, their love story. If you're devoid of love sit with the lovers and listen to their praisings, their songs and their teachings. It's all an immense love story of the Divine the Presence. All of it wrapped with Qur'an and holy hadith, all the inner reality of what Allah <coughs> wanted. Just that hadith alone is enough for us to understand. If the heart's not good what are you wasting your time on? And if you're making thousands of rakah and the, how to read it the reverse way because Prophet also is describing that the heart of somebody is between the two fingers of Allah Means Allah is in charge of your heart. If what you're doing of your amal is not changing your heart, Allah showing you your actions have no value, no power. So those who come with very strong amal, they, they say, we want to do a lot of things and they want to make sure that their pants are super short and their shirts are super long and all the different expressions that they have, some may call them extreme. Those whom are extreme, how come their salah not changing them? How come they don't become softer? How come they don't have muhabbat and love and compassion within their heart? And that's the hadith is telling you. And then awliya would go deeper and tell you, no as a matter of fact every amal you do is by your brain, is by your head. But muhabbat and love is by your heart. You cannot contemplate to have love. You cannot sit and say, oh I'm gonna think, I'm gonna think, oh I'm gonna put love into my heart right now. No, it's not coming. So it means every action is on your head. Muhabbat is in the heart. Love is in the heart. Who controls the heart? Qalbul mu'min baytullah. You can't make anyone love you and you can't be forced to love anything because your heart belongs to Allah Allah puts the love in the heart, Allah take the love out of the heart. We said before in the talks of magnetic understanding of energy, the attraction you have in your faith that takes you and directs you to Sayyidina Muhammad Faith is a grant by Allah Love is a grant by Allah If Allah is pleased now how to get the grant? Some people may text and say, Shaykh I have no love. And they came to Prophet and said, I don't feel this compassion for children like you describe. He says, what can I do? If Allah didn't put mercy into your heart there's nothing that can save you. Means rahmah and mercy has to come as a gift from Allah But then all of Prophet's teaching was, have good manners. Have good manners and whatever you do in life, have good character, good akhlaq. With that good manners, with that humility that don't use your mouth and tongue to lash out at people, at holy people, at any people. Don't use your hands, don't use your being, don't, don't use anything to come against even in that, Ya Rabb, he's saying that, my Lord in this world that you don't even care for it like a wing of a mosquito, I didn't kick the wheat of grass, showing the adab that they never use their foot on anything. They don't use their foot to kick something because it's a bi ihtiram and, and a lack of any manners. You don't use your foot for anything except to kick a football. You don't use the foot to kick the grass, to kick the food out of the way, to clean the kitchen with your feet. He said, I didn't even use my feet on a piece of grass if I've done anything wrong. So they had the best of character, they tried to accomplish the best of character and what God's gift was? Love. I grant you 
love, you're a loving person. No matter where you are, what you think that person believes and doesn't believe, if they have love in their heart, not lust and, and other desires, if they have a love and compassion means Allah address them from Rahman and Raheem. So they may not even know Allah address them with Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. Don't know what their form is yet because you don't know when somebody going to come into taslim. Sayyidina Umar came to fight Prophet at that moment Rahman and Rahim entered into the heart and he started to tear. So but Allah teaching Prophet teaching awliyaullah inspiring that your good character if it's good Allah will grant you Rahman and Rahim will grant you love and muhabbat. If Allah grants you a heart that's loving and compassionate then every action will be pleasing to Allah and He'll perfect the actions of that servant. But if they're action heavy and no emphasis on their heart then everything is questionable because this is the hadith. That if the heart's not good Allah's not considering anything from that body. What's the value of the body in actions that are contaminated? So that's why the associations of, of Divinely love is they want to be lost in that love. They want to hear these praisings and feel it with their soul. They want to read the, the holy words of it to understand their teachings. They want to have the best of character. Even we have there's a page that many of them there are 40 hadith of love of Sayyidina Muhammad so they took from the longer hadith the sections that were related to the qalb and muhabbat and even the ask Prophet told Sahabi that, make your love like a bird, like the heart of a bird. And ulama came to understand that what Prophet is meaning that make your love like the heart of a bird. And then awliya come and teach that, do you know that the bird, it never occurs to this little bird or big bird that it cannot fly. How this creature flies? There's no physics teacher that can tell you that that wings is going to make an uplift current and that bird is going to fly. It has so much faith in Allah because it was created with that complete tawaqq. Complete reliance upon Allah complete muhabbat and love for Allah it merely moves its hand and Allah provides angels that uplift it. And Prophet was teaching companions a reality of the soul, you can fly, you can leave the physicality and the understanding of your physicality and your soul can fly if you only trust in Allah if and you want the characteristics that Allah truly wants of good characteristic Allah grants a love. That love can move mountains. Only Allah are the people of muhabbat. That's what they meant that they can move mountains means the love of the Divinely Presence so clean, so pure that it can move everything. Nothing can stay in Allah's way. If Allah wants something to move, not your prayer can move it, not your salah can move it, not your zakah can move it, not your fasting can move it. It's your love and love for Allah it can make the mountain to disappear for the servant. We pray that Allah bestow more and more muhabbat into ourselves. We do all of our amal because Allah ordered it but what they want to focus on is that be busy cleaning the heart cleaning the characteristics, put this love within the heart by loving Sayyidina Muhammad and coming to the associations of ashiqeen inshaAllah. Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel, your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.